since the 1960s, resistance in Staphylococcus aureus against the antibiotic methicillin has um, been steadily rising. And so people are very familiar now with the concept of MRSA. Thankfully in recent years rates have been declining slightly, but we still have a situation where the rates of MRSA bloodstream infection in Irish hospitals are greater than a lot of our European um, counterparts. We have started to think about the idea of developing a vaccine which would protect people against um, the onset of MRSA infection. What we think we should be doing is trying better to understand how our body naturally responds to these organisms because if we don't understand how our body naturally responds to them, how can we really believe that we're going to be able to develop a vaccine to improve that response. So what we did in this study um, was through a collaboration with clinicians at St James's Hospital, um, Tala Hospital and Beaumont Hospital, we were able to collect samples from patients who were suffering from a Staph aureus bloodstream infection, then analyse the types of immune cells that were active in these patients. And through this work we identified a specific type of immune cell known as a type 1 T helper cell. And these type 1 T helper cells were elevated in these patients who were recovering from a Staph aureus bloodstream infection, suggesting that these cells were really important in the recovery process. And we then developed a model vaccine um, that would target these T cells. And testing this model vaccine in experimental models, we were able to show that it improved infection outcomes. The Health Research Board and the Wellcome Trust funded this research. Getting funding to do this kind of truly trans relational research is really important. So it's very exciting to think that the discoveries that we made here in Trinity may actually be part of what helps us to realise an effective vaccine against MRSA and potentially protect the world against this raging epidemic of antimicrobial resistance.